Welcome. Hey everyone, welcome again to my channel. My name is Colleen. So today we'll be making some Barbie fried chicken wings. All right, let's go. I got this chicken from from P Food, and it's already done. Oh. So you're just gonna go through and rub wherever you see those little feathers yeah I don't want to see them I rub them because that's the only way you're going to get them off you're going to take forever trying to use the knife but that won't work okay so we're just going to rub it till they come off and if you grew up in Jamaica or in the Caribbean you pluck chicken you know you get to have them you have to rub them So it can give it a nice look. Now this is the area right here. Pull them off. I don't like it, so I take it off. So I want your wings to look nice, just like this. And pretty. And we're going to do it for the rest of them.
So now that we cleaned up the chicken, we're going to rinse it real good. I use both the lemon and the vinegar to rinse my chicken. So what I usually do is I usually cut right in between these two bones. Be careful. Keto. So there you have it all cleaned up. Now let's season. I'm going to start with some chicken seasoning. Yeah, hey, one thing you know, them seasoning your salt and you know, some jerk seasoning, some black pepper. And some Larry's seasoned salt. So now we're going to combine these. You know I'm using my eye. I'm going to add now I'm going to add my scallion my thyme my pepper yeah so here we have some scotch bonnet pepper I'm gonna cut this guy up yep and it's going all in here Don't be afraid with Mr. Scotchy. Everybody on your finger in a Some onions. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to add some garlic to it. And I'm going to cover this up until tomorrow. I'm going to place it in the refrigerator. clean up but i give you guys a little story time about this barbie fried chicken how i got the recipe how i love it right so in i don't know any jamaican over here we know that when you're in i think i was in 11th grade you have to do work experience right and so they placed me in a restaurant <laughs> Mommy, don't kill me. <laughs> they placed me in a restaurant. They placed me in Heinz. Heinz restaurant. In Santa Cruz. My mother was like, hell no. She had a good reason why she didn't want me to go to Heinz. But I wanted to go. Don't kill my mother. <laughs> but I'm actually happy that I didn't go. Anyway. They placed me in this restaurant. I think it was Jones's. I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember. It was in Santa Cruz. It was close to the bottom stoplight. It was in, was that Valley Peak? I don't remember the name of the plaza. That's all I remember. All right, you know where the the Black River, where the market there, on the side of the market there? Black River stand? Yeah, right there, so like to the left, right? So I was placed there in Miss Jones restaurant. Now, she was a very good woman. She was a very, very good woman. I think I was there with um, Nikita. I think that's her name, Nikita. Yeah, Nikita. Yeah, me and Nikita were in Miss Jones restaurant. And the very first day, I forgot what the guy named. His name was Chef something other. And he was like, cut up the garlic and the um pepper for me. Hey man, my don't wanna you don't know some use my beer hand cut up the garlic and the pepper. So me I cut you know cause he needed it for the chicken. And me I cut this when my bun pepper would have burn my finger. <laughs> hey my said pepper bun me bun me bun me bun me bun me for the whole day. Me and Nikita will put one in the ice water. We do everything. Burn my finger in the And he showed us the recipe. So he said, all right, I'm cut up the pepper. One thing with that restaurant, the only thing they seasoned their chicken with was scotch bunny pepper and garlic. See what I thought, you know? They grind it together. Well, we just cut it up together like mince it mince it mince it fine 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 that was it that's all and some regular chicken season that was it they use like minimal stuff and the flavor of the food bad manalai food did bad but you know how restaurant goes so you do breakfast you do lunch and da, da, da. but my favorite thing and my takeaway was the barbie fried chicken so i'm seasoning it up and 
you know but at the paper man at the paper the paper the paper the paper and i think that was my very first time i ever got paid yeah it wasn't a job but after i finished my work experience um she asked me to come in on saturday i remember and i think she paid me 350 jamaican dollar for the day i think that's what she paid me but me never care but it happened with it happened with it happened with it happened with it happened so it's here <laughs> i think my buy mommy my party out of the money or something my buy out of the money because you know the mother that will say in the day when you get your first pay check make sure say you give your mother da, 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 da. i think i got 350 dollars i'm gonna give my mother a party out of it so i bless to follow me <laughs> but yeah the paper burned me and you know me stupid all you have to have paper and expect the paper go burn you I did whole heap of paper, you know, but the recipe did bad. Big up yourself, Miss Jones. Any which part you did. Anyway, you did. Big up yourself. And I don't regret going there, by the way. But yeah, um, it wasn't a big, busy restaurant, right? But the food was really, really good. You understand? And no matter where you are, try to take away something from your situation. You know, instead of complaining and da 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 da, ning 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 ning, take something from the situation. No matter how bad the situation is, take something away from the situation. That restaurant, it wasn't the busiest restaurant, right? But I was able to take something away from it, and that was the barbie fried chicken recipe. <laughs> Anyways, see you tomorrow. I'm going to leave the chicken um, to stay in the fridge for overnight. And then tomorrow, we're going to continue. So, see ya.